Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, my name is Irina Banyko. Uh, I work uh, in Institute Continuum Medical Mechanics, Oral Branch of Russian Academy of Science. I work in. Uh, uh, I I work uh, was made in laboratory of foundation foundation of strengths, physical foundation of strengths. Um, the goal uh, my my study uh, is explained to influence initial of material structure uh, to um, fragmentation statistic and uh, uh, initial uh, porosity of sample. This is construction of my presentation. Uh, experimental setup, experimental sample, analysis of fragmentation, mechanism of formation of fragments, and conclusion. Uh, this is uh, um, it's are shown uh, the experimental setup and uh, its scheme. Tupola specimens. Uh, were loaded dynamic uh, by the shockwave pulse initiated by under water electric wire explosion. Uh, tubular specimens with an axial conductor uh, is placed, it was uh, placed it in a cylindrical chamber, chamber uh, and uh, uh, chamber it was filled uh, distillate water. Uh, shock wave initi uh, was uh, initiated uh, by electric explosion viral. Uh, and um, amplitude load distort uh, by uh, different different uh, capacity capacity um, uh, this this is uh, showed sample materials uh, and uh, its uh, size um, this uh, three uh, photo uh, by uh, uh, by a micros uh, microscope at different uh, it was obtained uh, by uh, Hyrex microscope at different degrees of magnification. Uh, this is area uh, in a cross section of tube. Uh, this is uh, image the normalized area distribution of pore in a cross section. Uh, this is the number of pore in the cross section. Uh, this is in area of the photo. Uh, this is distribution by Barlow function. Uh, this is a slide um, where considering analysis of fragmentation, fragments of a tube uh, was two types. Uh, one form uh, fragments of regular shape and uh, two fro form uh, fragments in regular shapes. Uh, uh, this is analysis of fragmentation. Uh, this is uh, fragments 
random path distribution are obtained for different specific energy. Uh, two dimensional fraction. Uh, this this is uh, point inflection inflection point uh, to moving. Uh, uh, with uh, smaller scale. Uh, two uh, dimensional fraction fraction is uh, different. Is um, describe uh, exponential function and uh, three dimensional fragments are describe uh, a power law function and uh, exponent with uh, function uh, is is dependent on the specific energy. We consider a mechanism of formation of two-dimensional uh, two fragments. Uh, this construction of tube uh, of um, parts and um, distribution segments size of size. Uh, mechanism of formation of two-dimensional fragments uh, correspondingly a mod model uh, where destruction of tubes or uh, destruction of ceramics uh, depend on um, pulse loading Next slide, uh, we consider mechanism of the formation of 3D fragments. Uh, this is surface of two-dimensional fragments, uh, wide two-dimensional uh, fragments uh, with um, fracture surface. Uh, this uh, this uh, horizontal coat surface structure of the two-dimensional fragments uh, white is um, mountains uh, in a cross section. Uh, this is uh, photo uh, image. Sorry, uh, the square wire area distribution. Uh, how as shows um, three-dimensional fragments uh, is described Paolo distribution um, as white areas and uh, poor areas distribution uh, um, uh, have in uh, same origin. Um, same ellipse region. Uh, this is uh, image of the micro branch near fracture surface uh, of 2D fragments. Inner uh, side of the uh, of the tube of the current tube. Uh, dynamic. Uh, same dynamic drug propagation uh, was obtained in PMMA uh, in laboratory in this laboratory uh, and uh, obtained in this walk uh, and um, formation uh, of three dimensional fragments uh, correspond to uh, propagation uh, cracks uh, in uh, across uh, fragments 
and <laughs> led to uh, micro branch uh, cracks. And conclusion. The tubular fragmentation analysis has shown that the fragment size distribution have two parts. The distribution of small 3D fragments is described by the power law. Distribution of the d-dimensional fragment is described by the exponential function. The keramic tube fra fracture has two stages. The vertical cracks where formation throw the specimen's height as a result of tube ex ex extension in the radial direction. The main, uh, the main horizontal crack where formed. This led to the formation of two-dimensional fragmentation which correspond to the fr fracture of thin shells when the distribution is affected only the load intensity. The analysis of the sample structure shows that the initial porosity has a direct effect on the formation of three-dimensional fragments. The initial defects structure generate the multi-center fracture of ceramics under high rate loading. The greater, the greater is a tensile stress. The, high, the height of number, number, of course, will become a center of damage initiated. Thanks.